I feel like a rock star. I'm rocking Rick Owens. Yeah, strikers and my granny. The actual Justavelli. Um, so I definitely got some comments saying that I should react to some old Larry Bird and trash talker and everything. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Larry Bird trash talker is what we about to. So we about to watch right now by Uncut Hoops. And then, but before we get into that, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed recently. I'm at like 85 subscribers, I think, right now. So yeah, let's try to get 100. Like, comment, subscribe, have a discussion down low, like the video, subscribe. Let's get me to 100 subs. That would be amazing. I would really appreciate that. And I appreciate everybody who's already subbed. But now let's get into this reaction. We playing them in the last the last play. He says uh, to James Worthy, he says, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over there at that corner. <laughs> he said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever. That's you crazy. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ? the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out, the man curl right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, <laughs> and game made over. It. <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> I go to shake his hand. I'm a rookie. I'm playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. I'm going to go shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. He wouldn't shake my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in the league, Holmes. And he shoots a three. Now, I wasn't <laughs> mad that he made the three. But I said, did some bitch just call me home? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he, and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the breaking that pitch, and I jump up, and I throw it down on him. I mean, he fouls me. And he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's who he was. But that was the only time he ever talked trash to me because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. That really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I always tell this people this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his... Bro, trash talked everybody and it was so clean that literally... Is it really about to be just 10 minutes of people telling their stories of him trash talking? Oh my gosh. Bro, too cold, bro. Real. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. <laughs> and I says, what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you I, put I, on I, it? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. But he, says, he says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He <laughs> told Robert Reedy the other day that he should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> that was funny. He had 50 points. And you know, Larry Burr ain't never played no great defense. He like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. Sorry, I got the person away, guys. I'm sorry. Mark hit a three pointer on Larry on Larry Bird and uh and said and said and said take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three 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 pointers in a row <laughs> and just basically basically said to him and we all heard it that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. The ball went to Larry and Isaiah was all out of out of whack. He had the ball at three point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three pointer. Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, don't this guy up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. Right. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He <laughs> scored like 10 straight points on me. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's daughter, he calf shoot, legend, baby. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him. He tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him, and he shoots the ball. It's nothing but nylon. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird. <laughs> hey, hey, that's Holland, bro. Bruh, bruh. While he's shooting the ball, he's seeing fly by. He only, 
blubber what yo that's crazy and it's like it's not even like disrespectful trash talk or not like it's just clean smooth just trash talk like it's just smooth it's like all right i'm gonna tell you this and then i'm gonna still get that bucket you know what i'm saying i'm gonna, I'm gonna let my game do the talking you know what i'm saying i might give you a little one-liner or whatever but i'm gonna let my game do the talking for real for real also too y'all like the new camera the new camera we got a way better camera got a way better camera so quality is up the mic should sound a way better like everything i'm to the side i'm not in the middle so everything should be cool i got my green screen this time around so the green screen looks better because i got a better camera and it, it uh, as soon as i say that it, it, it glitches in the corner all right bro <laughs> all right man oh excuse we saw that in the highlights that's crazy bro that's crazy bro they really like that's so tough confidence you had because you know if you ever got in trouble give the ball to larry and get out of his way <laughs> and he delivered double team and bird larry uh buck buck too easy too easy well you had the bird night i had the bird New night Orleans. yeah Orleans. yeah that was that was a tough night man <laughs> That, you know that, the biggest argument that night is uh well you only scored six on me yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? but did you nobody was guarding bird were they oh my oh, gosh we were trying, we were trying no, to. No, but when when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots uh and you know bird talked a lot of trash uh, um and that's in new orleans that's in new orleans and that game we're on the free throw line and he's like he literally says um left side <laughs> over uh, across the three and you're listening that's to crazy him. that's that's a tough feeling but okay so you guys got antoine carr and cliff levingston got fined by fratello i think for, and, and eddie johnson for celebrating celebrating bird yeah, it was the best film session <laughs> when, I mean, when i see mike we still laugh God, it was so a, it was the greatest film session ever because that back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and mike rewound the celebration 20 times he just kept re not the shot he just kept rewinding it showing the guys you remember they're giving each other high five and then and then somebody falls off the bench yeah too. that was when, eddie johnson yeah, yeah that was eddie johnson. <laughs> eddie johnson falls off the bench and bro your team getting uh, so cooked that oh my gosh high five. they getting and so cooked that was 20 minutes of that <laughs> So it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense on no, Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was. Uh, I think Bird uh, went by the bench one time too. He fell in the bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, "Off the glass into the trainer." <laughs> out the glass to the drainer <laughs> it was a bad night hey when larry got on the road started shooting the ball just every shot was going in goodbye she's gone i got the two point that was too close and when he ran by the bench he goes that's a heat check larry legend all yeah, right he runs by frank layton who's the funniest guy in, in the league and frank is coaching and larry says to him hey frank don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me he goes so nobody out here can frank looked down the bench he goes no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he'll look at you like, hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to grab me because I'm killing this guy. In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. You can see this. Larry not going for none of that. Oh, uh, bucket over Larry. Uh, oh yeah, oh, fake. Oh yeah, drop step. Oh yeah, fade away. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, right back at him. Uh, oh shit, uh, oh, give me that. We need that. Oh, and he looked at him. Oh, he need a timeout. He need a timeout. Because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we've always had run ins, but. Uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word has made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form, and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. Larry McDaniel is pretty good. They call the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And then the time out, I'm going for a play, and I tried this for a run. 
All right, uh, then as you get the ball, you go over here and uh, you pass to Kevin, then you go to the corner, then Robert, you come over, then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? Now, after the timeout, we, we walk back on the court, and Larry's going down to his position, so he tells his baby, he says, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and that's what he did. He said, I ain't, I ain't even going to try to get open. I'm just... What do you do? There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do about that. I walk back to the left sideline like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time. Larry was complaining to the refs. And Dr. I was J. to the refs. And the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. That's how I summarize it. The four <laughs> Olympic teams playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, including Larry Bird, and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. As if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. Got a pool <laughs> so I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing. But I, he said, I'm going to tell you what. Since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. <laughs> you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. <laughs> I want to hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. <laughs> you know, we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Boston had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench. Mm. You know, he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, Hey, guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot, and I'm going to kick it in. He told Washington, I'm going to get the ball. You know, two seconds left. The ball looks by one. Aims to burn. Oh, my God. Bucket. Oh, that's so tough. That's so. Boy, this is something else. Incredible. Bird wins it at the buzzer. That's so tough. That's so tough. That's so tough. Yeah, we're we going we to skip this. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll skip that. Yeah. That's so. That's the end of it. I was invested in that, bro. Oh. Bruh is cold, bro. Larry, man. Let's look at the comments, Larry. Coach, just give me the ball. I'll tell you when to get out the way. Shut up, Larry. I'm running the team. Everyone get the ball to Larry and get out. <laughs> Larry Bird never talked trash. He predicted the future. Oh, man, for real. Are you putting the white guy on me? This <laughs> <laughs> Larry Bird is the most athletic, not athletic person. Oh, that's man. I'm telling you, it's the same with Luca, bro. Like, Luca's the most athletic, unathletic. Like, how do you make unathletic look athletic? That's crazy. I don't even like basketball, but can't get enough for Larry Bird. Like, it's legend. Basketball is dying before Bird. Imagine they said the game, it gave us the best air of basketball, and it was still a team sport. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna end it right there. Uh, mic quality should sound way better. Green screen should look better. It's a little bit of fuzziness. I'm gonna try to fix that in the green screen, but it should be much better. Camera's definitely way better. I I love this camera. This camera's beautiful for sure. But I'm gonna end it right there. Uh, don't be afraid to drop suggestions of what I should react to next. I'm all down for that. So and subscribe, like, comment, please. Subscribe, like, and comment, please, please, please. Start a dialogue. I will be replying and commenting to every comment that I see. It's probably gonna be every comment and uh, start a conversation down there. Give your thoughts, uh, give me recommendations, give me uh, other videos to watch, like just everything. And if you stay all the way to this point, I appreciate you. Subscribe, like, yeah, bro.
Mr. Belly out, man. I know I can take you farther. You stole my heart like a robber. Pretty little face like a flower.